consider two digit primes, no two digit prime will end in a two because it will immediately be divisible by two. The same will be true for eight. And for five, it will be divisible by five. So in fact, the only primes we need to test are 23, 53, and 83. It turns out that all of these are prime, so there are three ways. Now, how do I know that they're prime? Well, I know they're not in my basic times tables, so 23, so I can rule that one out. If you're um, still unsure though, what you can do is you can try to divide by two, and then, that doesn't work, it's not even, that by three, no, because 24 is divisible by three, and by five, no, and we only need to go up to the square root of 23, which is just under five. The reason we need to get to the square root is if there's a number below the square root that's a factor, then there'll be a number above the square root that's also a factor. For 53, we'll do the same sort of thing. 2, 3, that doesn't work. Digits don't add to the multiple. 3, 5, 7. And actually, that's it because the next one would be 11, which is way too much. So we're okay because 49 is not. Um, divisible by 7, so 53 is not. For 83, we're going to have to go a little bit more. It's going to be 2, 3, no, 5, 7, um, and again, actually, 11 is too much. So that's, you know, okay, you might need to do some short division if you're not convinced by this, but for sure, they are prime, and there are, it is three different ways of um, arranging these numbers.